I completely get it. You know, this time of year, we are really encouraging you to send out a lot of communication. You know, by, by this point, obviously, you've sent some letters asking people to give. You've got multiple emails uh, scheduled, hopefully every week, an email going out all the way till the end of December. Uh, and on top of that, I'm challenging you to uh, make follow-up phone calls, you know, and give people updates and say thank you. And so this is a lot. It feels like a lot. And, and I understand your concern, your hesitancy about coming across like a salesperson or uh, pressuring people or, or being pushy. Uh, but um, here, here's what I want to say to get you to think a little deeper about this. You know, you've already sent out communication asking people for, get, for, for gifts. You know, we're being bold enough to ask people to give. You're asking people to think and pray and make decisions about giving and send you money, right? Keep in mind the money is not for you. You're not asking for you. You're asking for others benefited by the work that you do in your organization. And um, the reality is it's not one thing, not one letter, one email, one step that you take that's going to be that thing that gets people to make a decision. It's all of these things together because in today's busy culture, the issue is not people making a decision yes or no. The issue is getting their attention and getting them to pause long enough to actually think and consider and, and hopefully pray and make a decision to give. And so that takes lots of different things because what we're trying to do is move one individual at a time to a decision to actually take action. So what I want to encourage you to do is really settle in your heart that if this is important enough that you've asked people to give in writing, which frankly is a lot easier than calling people individually or emailing people individually and personally, if you've been bold enough and have the audacity to do that, why would we not go the step of personally reaching out? And uh, we're not reaching out to ask them for money. Uh, we're reaching out to call attention to what we've been doing and to communicate our gratefulness that they're paying attention, that our, our gratefulness that they've given in the past, or our gratefulness that they were part of what we're doing. So I want you to really think about this and settle this deep down in your heart. Why am I making these calls? Why? Am I calling because I'm trying to get somebody to just send me money? Or am I actually calling because I am grateful that they're paying attention? I am grateful for what they've done in the past. I am grateful that we even have the privilege and the opportunity to ask them to consider what is happening here and to think about including that us in their giving. And I'm grateful that, um, that they're interested and I want to thank them for what they're doing and thank them for what they've done. And I want to make sure they're getting the communication and that it's making sense. Settle that in your heart. You're not going to get me to, to encourage you to call and ask people for money. They know, you're, they know you're raising money. They know that you're moving forward. Uh, what I'm instead doing is saying, think about a real relationship, how you would want to be treated, and how can you communicate with genuineness and authenticness uh, that grateful spirit. Yeah, it, if what you have in your head and your heart is I'm calling because that's going to trigger money to come in through the door, uh, you're going to have some neg negative reactions because people are a lot more intuitive than we give them credit for. But if you can get in your heart deep down, I'm calling because this is important and they are important to me. And I'm wanting to thank them for taking the time to consider our request and thank them for the impact that they've have having and thank thanking them for considering the impact they could yet still have through their giving. So that is my encouragement to you as you're grappling with this awkwardness about one more step, one more thing, doing these follow-up calls here as we approach the end of the year giving. It's all that, uh, all that doable. I think you could take this on. Can you?